what a marvelous night in 1997 in Omfi Olympia Stadium Munich, right? Uh, how can you tell us about the miracle in Olympia Stadium when Borussia Dortmund beat Juventus 3-1 in UEFA Champions Cup final? As I said, it's, it was a miracle. I mean, uh, just the way we uh, we got to the final, uh, we we beat Manchester United uh, in a, semi-final. in the semi-final and very very close. Normally, we should get out. Manchester was much the better team there, but at the end we made it. And uh, for us, it was an incredible night because we uh, definitely have been the completely outsider in this game. Nobody betted on uh, Borussia Dortmund. Nobody bet, but me. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so you had uh, confidence in us, but. Uh, I mean, you you will have uh, once in your lifetime uh, performances like this. Everybody was on 100% on his performance. So it was a, a huge thing for us all, for Borussia Dortmund. Okay. You scored two goals during that final, right? A brace. Did you expect to score a brace and put the Borussia in the highest level of Europe in 1997 a day before the final? I mean, yeah, for sure. I, I said it. I had a dream there. In, uh, in the room, uh, I shared the room with uh, Martin Gray and uh, I was uh, waked up in the middle of the night and said, okay, I had uh, a dream uh, that I scored uh, twice tomorrow and uh, it, it really happened on the next day. So uh, it was, a, yeah, for me, it was a miracle. But I was very, very focused in this game. I, I mean, it's a long time ago, 97, but still uh, I have uh, good memories about it and uh, it was just uh, amazing for us all. Still like a yesterday, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alessandro Del Piero made a goal to make the score 2-1. Remember that? Yeah. Were you guys afraid that Juventus will level the score 2-2 and make it harder to lift the trophy? Even Omar Hitzfeld substitute you with Heiko Harlech in 67, 67, 67 minutes, right? Before last week can score the third goal for Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, Juventus put a lot of pressure on us and uh, when uh, Del Piero scored uh, the 2-1 uh, goal for Juventus, it was quite close to everything. And uh, so we needed to react and uh, I had to go out because I broke my uh, 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 ankle, an- not, not ankle, but a, a toe uh, in this game. So, uh, yeah, all the team battled very hard, but uh, Juventus uh, was a strong team and everybody knew that uh, this will be a very close thing now. Maybe they can uh, make the equalizer 2-2. But uh, as you know, the finish, uh, Lars Ritten was coming in. And uh, he had just a miracle moment when he chipped over the, the third goal for us. Uh, with, I think he was 17 years in, in these days, so it was just unbelievable. That was the first and the only one Borussia Dortmund ever lived the Champions Cup or now European Euro, UEFA Cup final, right? Mm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, a couple of years ago, it was very close against Bayern Munich in, in London. Yeah. But uh, so far, it was the, the only one... Uh, During Jurgen Klopp era, right? Exactly, yeah. I mean, they, they played really brilliantly in, in, in the final, but uh, unfortunately, Robben didn't <laughs> <laughs> like to give us the, the trophy again. Mm-hmm. But it's still time. Even this year, we have a very, very good team. So hopefully, uh, one day, they can do it again. And repeat, to lift the trophy. Yeah, to lift the trophy. Yeah. Okay, because Borussia Dortmund has a huge and loyal supporters. They often made a spectacular choreography in Westfalen Stadion. Now, can you tell us how energetic the BVB supporters when they support the team during the match? I mean, in, in, in Germany or maybe in Europe, you, you won't find uh, much better fans than uh, you have in, in Borussia Dortmund. I mean, the, the Südtribüne, it's called Südtribüne, the, the massive wall, you can see in the back, they are really uh, putting a lot of uh, enthusiasm mm-hmm. in, into, uh, yeah, into uh, choreographies or something like this. And uh, they support us uh, very, very strong. So it helps the players on the field to really uh, get everything out of your, yeah, of your performance. And was that very strong support made you and the team feel pressure? How can you handle it? My God, I mean, you look uh, at them. If you are, yeah, <laughs> exactly. If you are a football player, you have to handle uh, pressure. But uh, this is not a pressure. Uh, it drops you down. Uh-huh. It, it lifts you up. So it helps uh, for sure every player uh, to get uh, to get better and get everything out of his uh, performances. How do you feel when you lost to the opponents? Oh, it was never a good feeling. I mean, <laughs> to losing games, uh, every player in the world hates it, and especially here in, in front of, uh, yeah, in, in front of our fans. If you lose a game, it's it's not really a, a, a nice feeling. But in actually, in our times, we didn't lose so much. Games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're the you're the winner of the Bundesliga in 1996, 1997, right? Yeah. You joined Werder Bremen and Borussia Dortmund, right? Why you didn't join Bayern München like any other Bundesliga player? 
Is it true if Bayern München is a dream team for any player in Bundesliga to join with? I mean, Bayern Munich is a, a massive uh, brand in Germany and uh, I had uh, the possibility when I, uh, uh, I moved from uh, Werder Bremen to Lazio Rome and then when I came back in the, in the Bundesliga I had also an offer from uh, Borussia Dortmund. But in, this, in these days I made the right decision to go to uh, Borussia Dortmund, not to Bayern Munich because uh, in, in these years we won, uh, in four years we won three titles. So I made for, for myself absolutely the right decision to go to Dortmund. And, uh, but as you said, Bayern Munich is uh, uh, the record winner in, in, in Germany, but uh, uh, yeah, for me it was a, a, a great uh, honor to play for Borussia Dortmund, not for Bayern. And you never, a decision that you never regret? No, absolutely, I never regret this one. Because at, I think every other player in Bundesliga wants to join a big, giant club like Bayern München. Yeah, Borussia is a big, big, big club now in these days and uh, even in, in our days, mm -hmm. every player who was coming back from, from Italy, Matthias Sammer, Stefan Reuter or Jürgen Kohler, uh, Julia Cesar, they're all, mm -hmm. they're all coming back from uh, a huge uh, league uh, like the Serie A in, in Italy and uh, join, to join, join Borussia, Borussia Dortmund, Dortmund. not Bayern Munich. So you can uh, see the level of uh, the competitiveness. Exactly. Okay. Uh, it's been seven years since Dortmund became Bundesliga champions. Do you think Dortmund can get the title this season? Yeah, it's time that we can get it back. I mean, <laughs> last year we've been uh, so unlucky. We had s nine points clear uh, for uh, Bayern, Munich. From Bayern Munich. But uh, we still have a, a young team and uh, last year it didn't work. But uh, hopefully this year we made some really, really great uh, new signings. And uh, hopefully they can make it this year. But uh, it's a lot of pressure on the on, on the team now because everybody clearly after the after the season from last year, everybody uh, expects even more. And uh, but hopefully the uh, the young players that can handle the pressure. Okay, uh, tell me, how was it feeling to lift the trophy of World Cup in 1990? I mean, if you are a football player and uh, or if you are a young football player. You, have, you see these World Cups all over the world and then you say, OK, this will be a dream to stay one day in, in, a, in a final of a, uh, of a World Cup. And uh, I had the pleasure to, to do this. And uh, when you lift the trophy, it's, uh, it's really an unbelievable feeling. OK. Uh, now I want you to make uh, starting 11 players the best player based on your version from your previous club. Borussia Dortmund, perhaps? Oh, yeah. Or goalkeeper. I mean, yeah, the goalkeeper was good as well, uh, Stefan Klaus, but uh, I would say uh, for sure Matthias Sommer, for sure uh, Stefan Chapizan was in the front, and uh, if you want to name me uh, Julius Eza, because even Jürgen Kohler, there's uh, two, maybe one of the best defenders ever. And your captain is? Uh, Michael Zorc. Michael Zorc. Yeah, but he didn't play in the final, so for him, he's still very upset about it, <coughs> but uh, yeah, I would say. And head coach is? Otmar Hitzfeld. Otmar Hitzfeld, yeah. Baru saja kita simak percakapan kita dengan Karl Heinz Riedler, percakapan yang sungguh seru, membangkitkan memori kembali dia pada tahun 1997. Namun sebelum Riedler pamit kepada kita, dia akan memberikan uh, bingkisan, menandatangani jersey, terutama jersey Borussia Dortmund di sini. Can you, jersey Borussia Dortmund, can you please sign? I will sign it for you. Yes, Unfortunately, fine. it's not the 97 shirt. No, it's the latest <laughs> it's, one. It's the latest edition. It's the latest uh -huh. and... Uh, with a lot of regards from, from our club. Okay? Okay. Just show it to the viewers. Thank you. Okay. okay, thank you. Demikian pemirsa, kita sudah hiu wawancara kita dengan Carl Sainz dan terus nantikan wawancara-wawancara khusus kami bersama legenda-legenda olahraga dunia bersama Kompas Sport hanya di Kompas TV. Independent, terpercaya.